Hello, if you are receiving this video, you are either the president or chair of a student organization at Agi. Um, and I'm making this video to provide some information and also a quick tutorial. Uh, just as a quick introduction to me, my name is Cal Irvin. I'm a sophomore here at Augustana. Um, I'm studying data science, computer information systems, and I'm also serving as the ASA technical director for this upcoming academic year. Um, so just a quick description of how the activities fair may look this year. Uh, we have decided that it will be September 2nd and it will be in person. Um, however, the venue is currently unknown. We're still talking about options such as the outdoor or outside the commons, um, kind of on that patio where it's been in the past, and the Elman, Humanity Center, Campus Green, etc. Um, so we'll keep you updated with that. As for the swag bags, um, overall we will not be having any club sponsored items in the bags along with not having any business sponsored items. Um, there's mainly two reasons for this. The main one is sustainability. Um, in the past, we felt that a lot of students have thrown away uh, a lot of stuff they've gotten, especially the business stuff. Um, and also COVID, we don't want to hand out a whole bunch of unnecessary stuff if we don't have to. Um, so you will be encouraged to bring club uh, or organization merch to the activities fair uh, to hand out to students um, if you will be attending the activities fair. However, we will also be, ASA will also be putting a flyer or a poster in the swag bags with a QR code um, that will direct students to the Viking Central organization page. And this brings me to my next point. Um, due to the activities fair being somewhat of a hybrid model, um, and we're trying to prepare for somewhat of a smaller turnout, uh, just based on the fact that it's a, you know, a large amount of people meeting in the same place um, and with concerns to COVID, we're trying to update all the Viking Central organization pages um, so students can get plenty of information on your clubs via the internet on Viking Central um, rather than relying solely on uh, in-person communication. All right, so the first thing we're going to want to do is search the club that you are the president or chair of. Um, and then you should have this handy dandy manage organization tab here. We're going to click on that. Um, and it's going to bring us to this page here, and then you'll have the menu option um, in the upper left. And the first thing we're going to go to is roster. So the first thing you want to look at when you get to roster is all of the members that are currently in your organization. Um, if you're scanning through and you notice that um, somebody is not in there, you can go here to invite people and then type their email address. If you don't know their email address, you can always go to myagi.edu uh, and then buzzbook then search them that way and copy and paste your email address into there. After that, we're going to go to pending. Um, and this is people or Viking Central accounts that you have sent a request to join um, your organization and they haven't accepted or declined yet. If you notice that the invitation date was a long time ago, um, you know, maybe think about resending the invitation to give them that notification again. After that, we have perspective. Perspective is something that you should definitely check because this is going to be Viking Central student accounts that have asked to join your club um, and you have to either accept or decline. All right, after we've done roster, we're going to go down to the about section. The first thing you want to check is your profile picture. Uh, make sure you have something in there. If you don't um, and you can't find a logo, to your organization, feel free to contact me. I can help you make one. Um, if it's very outdated or it just doesn't look very good and you want to update it, also feel free to contact me and I'll try to help um, make a better one. And then next we have summary. This is required and this displays on the organization directory. Um, the organization directory can be found when students are searching for a organization um, and it's what comes right under the title. Um, these are very important because the um, QR code that I mentioned will be in the uh, swag bags. This is the page that it will bring them to, is the organization kind of search or club hub um, page. So please include, um, you know, an updated version if need be. Um, and then probably single-handedly the most important element is the full description. There's a lot of clubs that don't have a full description and it'd be really nice to see a lot of clubs add this. Um, when I was scanning through um, a few other organizations, I was just trying to write down a few of the things that are um, kind of consistent or a few of the ideas if you need to write one 
few things that you can think about are the history of the club and how it has changed, weekly or monthly events. For example, Math Club hosts um, Math Club like gathering. I think it's about once a month. Um, and they have pizza, they have guest speakers, they work on some complex problems, um, things of that sort. You could write about that in there. Um, you could talk about previous events. I know that's what SALT has. Um, past events include, and then they name a few here. Um, you could even talk about what it means to join the club, what that looks like for the members of the club, um, you know, things they're expected to participate in, uh, activities you go to, things of that sort. Um, and then also a new option for Viking Central is you can create a video um, and put that in your um, description. If you want to have that instead of text, you can use either YouTube or Vimo. We do have an ASA account for Vimo, so if you see that platform and you want to try to make um, a video using that software, um, feel free to reach out to me and we can try to set something up. Just as a little side note, there's not necessarily much urgency with creating a YouTube video um, as your description for the site, you're, you know, feel free to kind of put that on the back burner and that's something we can swing around to later this year um, if need be. After you have a description in, just briefly check your contact information and your social media. I'm not expecting many um, clubs or organizations to have external websites, but if that is something you have, especially if it's an augie.edu site, throw that in there. Um, and these, this is formatted very nicely. Um, on your page, th this is the section that it is for ASA. So after we've completed the About section, we're going to head on over to Events. I'm sure many of you are already familiar with how the Events section works. Um, you go here, you create an event. Um, if it's an annually occurring event, something that's very helpful is just clicking on um, that event from a previous year, and then you can go over to Change Details and then in a new window, pull up, create an event, and you can basically just copy and paste all the way through, um, just changing the dates, um, yeah, and things of that sort. A new feature uh, that I've been looking into that's very helpful is um, adding the location, and not just the location name, but a helpful map is what it's called. And if you take the address of Augustana, and you throw that in there, and then you just give it a second to load. It'll make this handy dandy little map. Uh, and if you expand this, you can move this little guy onto where the event will take place. So this is the common patio, the commons patio. This is where um, the activities fair has taken place in the past. Uh, and then we can save that. I'm not going to because this event already happened. Um, but yeah, that's really nice, especially for incoming freshmen who don't know the names of the buildings yet. Uh, they can get a notification and figure out how to get to your event. So after events, we have the news um, section. Um, many organizations don't have any posts in their news sections. Um, it's very easy to make one. If we go to create article, all you have to do is title, summary, which is only 250 characters, um, and then the body. It doesn't have to be anything big. Uh, even just a simple update of what your club's doing or um, you know some events that you're going to be hosting in the future uh, it's a really nice way to just kind of inform the members of your club what's going on um, it doesn't have to be visible to the public you can do uh, private and just choose members from your um, organization uh, it's a really nice way to just share information without having to send an email list to everybody in the club um, if that's what you're doing now. Uh, however, this section of Viking Central hasn't been utilized um, pretty much at all. If you look at 2019, we had two posts. 2020, we had two, one of them being me that I posted earlier today. Um, but it would be nice to see that grow. Here's what it looks like from a student side of things. Uh, if you scroll down here, you see news. Uh, and I think this is a good way to kind of show, especially prospective club members, uh, some of the things that are going on in the club um, and then also after the event occurs you can post a news article about it so there's some longevity to it so you don't just you know after the event occurs it's not just gone uh, and they can't learn anything about it after news we're gonna head down to gallery so it's very easy to create an album we'll just run through this real quick you just name your album a very small description 
Um, I strongly recommend having it visible to the public so all students see it. Uh, and then you can just import your photos into the gallery. Also scan through if you um, have pre-existing galleries just to see the dates on them or the names and try to have some consistency to them. Um, if you have a few folders um, that are outdated, or I'm sorry, a few albums that are outdated, consider removing them. Um, if you have any empty albums, which I did see a few of, definitely remove those or add pictures to them. Um, and if you have albums of over 50 pictures and a lot of them are the same, maybe consider uh, making those more condensed or removing them as a whole uh, if they're not you know, necessary to have it on there. However, it would be really nice to have every um, club have at least one album on their uh, gallery because this takes up a large portion of the uh, of your Viking Central page. Um, so it's nice to have something there instead of just a whole lot of blank space. So after gallery, we're going to head to documents real quick. Uh, just check to make sure that there's no duplicates. I did see a few. Um, and if there are, read through them. Make sure that they are duplicates and you're not deleting you know, valuable information. And then you can feel free to delete uh, if need be. If you have nothing in there, um, but maybe you have a schedule of common reoccurring events, um, like monthly meetings and, and kind of what happens at those, um, if it's helpful information for students thinking about being in your club, you know, feel free to throw those in there. So after documents, we have forums, elections, and service hours. Um, I'm not going to be going through these today. You should already be familiar with how service hours works and how you add them, um, but we'll do more training on this in the future. So I know there's a lot of information and I was asking a lot from you guys. Um, I will be hosting two Q&A Zoom meetings to help with any questions. Um, I'll include the dates and the links uh, in the email that this video is attached to. Uh, it will be Monday, July 13th from 12 to 1 p.m. and then from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, however, in the meantime, if you have any other questions, feel free to email me at csirvin19 at oli.agi.edu which can also be found in the email this comes with. If you can make the amendments to the Viking Central pages by early August, that would be great. Um, and the reason for that is in the weeks that follow, uh, I will be checking all the student organization Viking Central pages um, and taking note of the ones that still need some help or work and reaching out to you guys um, just to help prepare Viking Central for the 2021 academic year um, and more specifically for the student activities fair. Um, if you made it this far in the video, Thank you for watching. Again, feel free to email me with any questions or concerns. Um, and more information from Cole and Hannah will be included uh, in the email that this video is attached to. Uh, yeah, thank you and have a great summer.